Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with a Technical Trader. Monday night, November the 7th, the charts of the day. Stocks are still moving. The market came back very nicely today. Um, we're getting over, and I wouldn't say overbought, but we're getting in a point, in a point where we're getting a little frothy. If you take a look at the top percentage gainers today, oh, something like 8 out of 10 where uh, stocks under $10. So we always got to be careful about that. But <clears throat> let's start off with Centrolium, which has been in a downtrend for the last four months. Today it popped with a, with a 33% gain, 30 cents, up to $1.22, and traded over 2 million shares today. That's the biggest volume it's traded since all the way back here in June. Significant day in that it broke not only the declining tops line, but the declining 50-day moving average. It moved up near initial resistance at about $1.30. Secondary resistance about $1.50, but possibility that if we do get a follow-through, a couple sessions here, we could see the stock get up to 175 to 2 zone. SHZ, part of the rare earth group that did very well today. If you step back and look at the longer term pattern, you'll see we're in a distinct down channel. And today's pattern brought, not only broke out of this little wedge, but through the declining top sign in terms of the last four months, but the major declining top sign, it, but not only being tested, but it closed right at it. So a very good close of 55 cents at 30%. 1.8 million traded, that's the best volume going back to uh, June. Significant enough in that it broke out and may follow through here. My targets are coming up are around the 310 and then 360 ranges short term. Another low price stock, MTG, so wanted to show you the significance of the move. In the last um, year and a half or so, the stock dropped from about the 10 range down to the buck and 60 range. Finally bounced here. Here, here again, and then today popped its head through it and backed off, but it's right at that resistance level. The volume surged to 15.4 million, one of the reasons why I wanted to show it to you. Significant enough volume for us to notice, uh, not only the price performance, but right there coming up across the declining tops line, excuse me, the lateral price resistance and it's closing up near the top of this short-term channel. However, the moving averages have been crossed over um, several days ago. Um, you can see that this could be a breakout session. If we get a follow-through and get this moving through here, my first target's up around the four and a quarter half area, followed by secondary target up around five and a half. Big day today for HMS Holdings. Um, the longer-term kind of head and shoulders bottom here, which, um, was broken today with a thrust of 360 or 14% on 2.8 million shares, indicates a completion of the bottoming pattern and a takeoff to new new heights. Uh, looking for a move up 33-34 zone, which would fulfill the measured move from the head to the neckline and then back up there. So something like that. Another nice follow-through day for Inhibitix. We noted this weekend that the stock had a monster move on Friday. We traded it today, gapped up. From eight and change to nine and a half, ran up to 1060 before backing off to 972. Gave up a chunk, but still 18.8 million share traded today, and the stock was up another 14%. But it is up against resistance in the zone, not only the top of the long term channel, but lateral price resistance. Love to see it back and fill and form some consolidation in here, uh, but momentum may very well take the 12 and a half range. That's my near term target. Another rare earth stock that's doing well and did well today is. Avalon, AVL, you can see that the declining channel was broken, We, uh, but not lateral price resistance, and that's going to be the key to watch for the next day or two. We got up through the 50. After getting through here and retesting it, installing for a few days, today it popped on uh, 2.6 million shares, the biggest volume in, let's see, probably since August. And if we get through this level, we have a completed breakout of a base pattern which could take us up towards the four and a half, three quarter range, my next target. FTK stock we've liked a lot and put out as a swing trade is working out well. The breakout here, the pullback, the breakout here today again breaks it through the August, mid August snapback high. At this point, we may be able to test the top of the channel up around 10, my short term target. SKUL is a, right now, is in a lateral price support here. Excuse me, lateral price resistance at the neckline of a basing pattern, and today it stuck its head out of up a dollar twenty-two or seven percent. I'm looking for more upside, a test of the 2021 range short term, maybe as high as the new IPO, post IPO as high as around 23. 
Motivation after the monster move on Thursday followed through Friday. Today was an inside day, yet an up day of $1.43.37%. But if, if this does what I would think it can do, I'd be looking for something close to 50, 52 range uh, near term. Fios, beautiful chart, no, no doubt that. After the IPO and it dipped, it then ran up towards the um, high 30s. Came down over the next few months, reversed in um, early October, it's moving up steadily ever since. It's gone from 15 to 39 um, just in the last couple months. And yet, today, a nice bullish inside day. We may see more upside looking for 44. The RWI, Dragon Wave, took out a declining top line yesterday. And today, fell, and fell through this price resistance zone. I'm looking for a move up to 6.5 to 6 and 3 quarters zone, my next target up in this resistance zone. MELI has been... Wonderful after the huge move on Thursday, followed through Friday. Again, today up another dollar fifty-seven. We're up in a key resistance zone near these multiple highs, April, May, and June, and that may create some resistance. But I did tell you uh, last week when it was breaking out that this stock looks like it can go back and test ninety or even low nineties. ATVI Activision wanted to point out the long multi-year base, which was broken um, a few days ago, and. Um, The pullback retest of the moving average and a steady move up today up another 18 cents not a lot but more new multi-year highs and that to me says we could see 14 or 15 short term occ continues a very strong trend after breaking out across key resistance level it pulled back in a nice three four day flag then reversed and uh, after the testing the 21 day moving average and exploded up towards resistance zone this is going to be a tough area between say nine and a quarter and ten and a quarter but I would look for a move up into that zone short term. EDAC wanted to point out the beautiful rising channel. It's a thinly traded stock, only traded 40,000 today, but very, very narrow movement. Very quiet kind of inside day on low volume. And this pattern overall is bullish enough for me holding this um, gap with a flag that I think we're going to see it move up and get up towards the 12 to 13 zone. OPK also forming a nice high-level consolidation, and I believe that eventually make, moves out of here and moves up to test six and a half, three quarters. My next target for OPK, Pier One, which had broken out to multi-year highs, it continues to press higher. I'm looking for a move to 15. GNK, although today was a slightly down day off a penny, you can see how it's near the apex of this coil or wedge. And after the nice pop here in the wedge there, I'm looking for a move that takes it up towards 13. My next major trading target. Moby, also in a little bit of a hedge consolidation wedge here that for the last four or five sessions, volume is quite low, 140,000 shares, still looking for a move up to get up towards seven and a half. And lastly, today's Juniper, swing trade idea of ours that reached our target. However, after pulling back down to test and consolidating for a few days, I'm looking for one more wave up. We have one, two, three, four. I'm looking for a fifth wave up. To the rise, right, the declining tops line up near 29 to 30 zone. That's our next swing trade target for Juniper. And that's it for tonight. HB out. Talk to you tomorrow.